there, Mr. Bluebird and I are here. We're just sitting with my fabulous bird report from when I was a kid. And we were making a plan and starting our writing um, for today. So the things I have with me are my table of, con uh, or my um, writing process tracker. I've also got my table of contents with me to keep me on track with what I wanted to write next. And here I've got some sentences that I started to write. So yesterday I wrote chapter two. So I actually filled this in a little bit more. I'm getting closer to the top. I'm being done with my writing. And I set a goal for today. And I said, next I will write chapter three. So I'm gonna take a look at my table of contents. and I'm gonna see what my plan was for writing chapter three. And it was this chapter called Nests. And I did write a sentence that didn't fit in with my other chapter yesterday. It said a bluebird makes a nest in a cavity. And I decided um, to take it out because yesterday I was writing about bluebird bodies and that didn't make any sense to have that there. So I put it in today's because today's chapter is about nests. So let's see here. I'm gonna read to you the sentences that I have so far. And you're going to tell me in your mind if you can find the one that is not about nests and so it should be taken out of this chapter. So, a bluebird makes a nest in a cavity. A cavity is a hole in a tree. They can't make their own hole in a tree, so they find one that was made by a woodpecker. One time, I saw a bluebird. Some people build nest boxes to give bluebirds a safe place to make nests for their eggs. So today is just a little bit trickier to figure out, is this about nests or is it not about nests? Because every sentence doesn't have the word nest in it. So let's see and talk about each sentence. A bluebird makes a nest in a cavity. That's clearly about nests. Tells, um, even gives a science word. A, or an expert word about what type of nest a bluebird makes. So that one is yes. A bluebird makes a nest in a cavity. That can definitely be in this paragraph about nests. A cavity is a hole in a tree. I want you to think about, actually while you're watching this, do a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Does that sentence belong in a paragraph about nests? A cavity is a hole in a tree. So it does belong here. And even though it doesn't say anything about the nest in that sentence, it still describes one of the words that is used when talking about bluebird nests. My reader might not know what a cavity is. So I need to explain that to them next. A bluebird makes a nest in a cavity. A cavity is a hole in a tree. It gives more information about where this bluebird is making its nest. So it does belong there. They can't make their own hole in a tree, so they find one that was made by a woodpecker. That doesn't say the word nest in it. But does that describe the action that they do while making the nest? So it does. So that is about nesting behavior. It's telling about, it is telling about making nests. So that one belongs there too. One time I saw a bluebird. That's a story. That doesn't even belong really in an information book unless I really am telling a story that's going to give some information about nests or about the bluebird. That is just, that belongs in a narrative and a storytelling with a beginning, middle, end, maybe with characters, maybe with a problem and a solution. Um, that belongs in a story. That is not information about nests. It doesn't help us understand nests or nesting behaviors or nesting words any better. So one time I saw a bluebird, I'm gonna take that one out. 
and it does not belong. Let's see. Some people build nest boxes to give bluebirds a safe place to make nests for their eggs. Yeah, that's about the nests. And it gave me an idea for another chapter that I'm gonna add in there. And I just decided because I'm in charge of my table of contents so I can change it, revise it anytime I want to. I just got an idea that I'm gonna add a chapter that is going to be a how-to, and it's gonna be called How to Build a Bluebird Nesting Box, okay? So I can revise things whenever I want to. I've got these four sentences, two short sentences, two long sentences, that are telling my chapter all about nests. Okay, nests are the best. Okay, have fun writing, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you are gonna teach us about your bird.